Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to our first webinar, Loravan from Start to Smart. My name is Janik Kopp and I'm the CEO and Head of Sales um, in Loriot, and I will be your host today. So let's start with a few organizational points. Um, I guess you all can hear me right because we have, a, we have done a sound check beforehand, so everything should work fine. But if you have any trouble understanding us, um, just drop us a message in the chat box. And uh, this chat box is also very important if you want to ask some questions um, to us, because unluckily we can't allow you to use your own microphone because we have quite a lot of uh, attendees in the room and we want to, um, yeah, don't get things to get messy. So if you have a question, just drop it in the chat message and we will have a quick Q&A round after the, um, yeah, after each session of the participants. So we will answer questions right away. All right, let's have a quick look um, at the agenda, what we have uh, planned today for you. So um, it will take around one hour and uh, yeah, depending on how many questions you guys got. So our goal is to show and explain to you um, a journey from what's behind, behind the LoRaWAN technology and why you should pick it. And uh, we will get over like how you get started and what problems you will face. And we will end our webinar with a really nice overview of some real world use cases implemented by our partners. So it's definitely worth um, to stay until the end. So let me give you um, a very brief introduction um, about who Laureate is and how we have grown into the company that we are today. So everything started 2015 when the two founders uh, of Laureate, Julian Studer and Witt Preisler, teamed up to leverage the great potential they saw in, in Loravan. But back then it was quite a gamble because, um, yeah, the technology was very new to the market <clears throat> and had only a very um, few followers. So a total different situation that we are facing today. But since then, uh, we have like found quite a significant growth. So from two people, we have grown to 26 um, people in three different offices in uh, Europe. And last year, we have even managed to step over the Great Pond and open a, a presence in San Francisco uh, to conquer the American market. And we are still looking for um, smart and enthusiastic people uh, to join our team. So if you are interested and maybe looking for a new opportunity, please check out our web page and the career site. Um, we have quite a lot of open positions. So up until today, we are serving um, over 250 customers worldwide. And um, this goes from a small startup up to up to blue to blue chip companies who are using IoT to their benefit. So before digging deeper into LoRaWAN, I would like to give you um, an introduction or very brief introduction about the Internet of Things. So for me, the Internet of Things means that we gather data from things which are normally not connected to the Internet to create business value for the user. And this is a really important point because just like showing sensor data in a dashboard, it doesn't really create any or, or very limited added value to the customer. So Internet of Things is really gathering the sensor data, integ integrating it into, the, into your processes and generating new services for the customers. And you probably also have heard about um, the sentence that data is the new gold. And um, that's absolutely the case because like the gathered sensor data just not just helps you like optimize your processes, save you save costs and be more efficient. It also helps you to create new services around your existing business, um, which generate new revenue streams. 
And I could give you dozens of examples where companies started to just get a sensor data for a simple remote monitoring use case, and then ended up building a completely new services service around um, their existing business and generating new uh, revenues. And this is completely independent from the industry. We see IoT use cases in every field and in every industry. But I will leave this um, to Carlos and his session because I don't want to steal his show. So the communication technologies behind IoT are as diverse as the use cases. And unluckily, there is no like one fit technology which fits all the, the use cases. So we in Laureate are very much focused in the LP1 sector. So low power wide area network technologies and especially LoRaWAN. So low power wide area networks mean that we connect devices over long ranges with very low power consumption. So we are speaking of years of life of sensor lifetime and kilometers of range. But because of these attributes, um, the, the amount of data you can send is also very limited. So the main competitive technologies to LoRaWAN are um, Sigfox and MBIoT, but they follow quite a different uh, paradigm behind it because you always have to rely on a network provider who, who builds a network for you and gives you access to it. Like the great thing about LoRaWAN is that everyone can actually build his own IoT network and like use it for his own use cases. So this is actually how a LoRaWAN network looks like. So we got actually the sensor nodes who are gathering the sensor data and they are sending the, the, the sensor data via LoRaWAN to so-called LoRaWAN gateways. These are like base stations you have to put in the field um, if possible as, as high as possible. And those gateways are speaking or sending their data to a LoRaWAN network server. And this is our core product. You can imagine the LoRaWAN network server as the brain of your network, which takes control over all of the connected gateways. It takes care of the device management and it makes sure that the data from the, your, your sensor gathering um, devices ends up at the right application where you can make use of the data. So this is, our core product. It's a, it's a software product, so we are not into the market um, in, in the, the end node market. And Laura Vaughan has some quite um, great um, unique selling proposition um, points. So as I already mentioned, uh, we're speaking about long range and deep indoor penetration. So if you put up a Laura Vaughan gateway on a building, um, you will get a really nice range um, in the surrounding area. And depending on the topo topology, um, you can even reach uh, kilometers of range. So especially in the field of agriculture, if you put your gateway high enough, um, you will get really nice um, yeah, sensor connectivity over kilometers of range. And you can also um, penetrate with your LoRaWAN signal like walls, to get indoor coverage. And this yeah, re gives you really nice benefit when, when it comes to um, smart office use cases and smart industry use cases. As I already mentioned, LoRaWAN was made for low power. So if you put a sensor into the, uh, into the field, it will survive. I mean, if depending on the, the rate you are sending data, it will survive for years. And um, yeah, this is just not, um, yeah, proven in the laboratory. Uh, we already seen cases in the field where we have sensors um, that are that are out there for years and still sending data. Um, it is also an open standard and works on an unlicensed band. So basically, everybody can buy a LoRaWAN gateway, put it up, and create its own network. You don't have to buy um, a license uh, first to to build a LoRaWAN network. 
and it is an open standard so everybody can implement it which means um, there is already a really big um, ecosystem about about LoRaWAN, like sensor vendors and uh, software vendors who have implemented this protocol and uh, built up re really different kind of use cases. LoRaWAN also has implemented the end-to-end -end security. So like data is always sent encrypted over the network. It's not possible to send uh, un unencrypted data. And only if the network server or your end application is able to like remove this uh, encryption so your data is really secure and uh, it comes with a really low cost so the equipment to build your own LoRa network is um, reasonably cheap so um, a LoRaWAN base station you can get uh, between 500 and 1500 euros and the end nodes really depend on um, yeah what kind of use case you want to implement but they start at um, as cheap as 20 euros and yeah as i mentioned depending on the use case go up to, to several thousands of euros and i brought you a really nice um, example um, about the, the long range in practice because this was um, a, a flight from one of our partners who was flying from um, budapest to italy and he had a GPS tracker with him in his in the in the plane and was tracking his position with LoRaWAN. And you can really, really nicely see the ranges that we got um, yeah, in this plane. For sure, it's it's not a like a, a really real world use case because uh, it's it's line of sight connectivity uh, just through the air. But still, it shows the capabilities of LoRaWAN, and um, yeah, it, it's really nice to prove that the technology holds what you expect from it. Yeah, this is um, my part. So if you have any questions, just drop a quick um, message in the chat. So, and then I can answer it right away. Um, if you don't have any questions, I would now hand over um, the microphone or yeah, <laughs> the speaker job to my colleague, uh, Raphael, who will quickly introduce himself and tell you how you get started with LoRaWAN and our software.